What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Another Nightmare 4 solo build here. Now we are all getting uh, a little bit wore out with the PDTs. I mean obviously currently it is without a doubt the single most powerful tower in the game. But one thing it does add to it in the current state of the game is a little bit of boredom. And I know a lot of people are getting tired of it. Uh, some people that were new to the game came in uh found out that the pdts were the flavor of the month got up to nightmare 4 and actually got bored with the game and left and that's something that uh, i personally don't want to happen to me so something i want to get done over the next couple of weeks is i want to do some five minute nightmare 4 builds that are without pdts so uh, we're going to go ahead and start things off right here at the beginning i'm going to go through all of the incursions here over the next week or two and uh, we're going to be bringing along a serenity r monk a proton beam ev2 a buff beam ev2 and an archer build abyss lord let's go ahead and uh, get things started here we're going to go with a serenity right here to split both of these lanes and then another serenity up top if i can actually jump there we go another one there that's going to split both lanes as well now we're going to head on over to our buff beam ev2 now uh, some of you guys will remember this is actually an old build that i was using before uh, the pdts became the flavor of the month and it's still very very effective uh, anyway we're going to go ahead and put a three node buff beam straight across the middle and then i'm going to switch on over to my abyss lord and on each segment of the buff beam we're going to just going to throw down four archers now on grid blocks here of course with the recent changes to du we've only got 600 to play with here and uh, still more than enough so we're going to go ahead and throw eight archers down which is four archers on each of those buff beam segments and yeah i know you can fit up to 10 on each one obviously we don't have enough du for 10 uh, and four on each one of those segments is more than sufficient now we're going to switch on over to our protoner and we've got 150 du left so I can basically do three 50 DU proton beams. So just going to start those off. I, I like to try to get right close to the edge of the archer range. And just put our little 15 or 50 DU uh, proton beam there. Just doing a little in. You can do this any way you want, really. Um, I prefer to put my protons in a more condensed area and kind of create a complete roadblock right there. Um, some other people prefer to, you know, spread them out like this. Any, any of it's fine. It all works. So, uh, whatever you decide to do, really, you can use any towers. If you don't have an Abyss Lord, uh, use anything else. Uh, Earth Shatters work, but then, of course, you're going to have to do some manual killing of the Flyers. Uh, Cannonballs, if your Squire is beefy enough. But really, the kicker with this build is the Protons. Uh, the Protons are a crucial part of it. And you're going to have 600 DU left, and that allows us to go ahead and throw an upgrade on each of the archers. And then two upgrades on that buff beam. I usually start the match off just like this and let it fly. And this build really, with my set of gear, this build is, is almost completely AFKable. Um, you have the protons out there to attract all of the uh, cobalt flyers, which makes things kind of easy. And you will, you know, every now and then you may have to give a little assist to the flyers overall. I personally usually spend most of this map parked right up here watching TV. So there is another five minute build for you. This one without PDTs. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, like I said, some of you guys will remember this build as I used to use it quite often. But uh, that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe. And we'll be back soon with some more DD2. See ya.